Hi everybody, today we're gonna to make a delicious vegan bolognese sauce with mushrooms and cauliflower. And this is one of the recipes from my job. I work for the Humane Society of the United States helping to get vegan food in schools and colleges and hospitals. And we're called forwardfood.org and so this is one of the recipes from forwardfood.org and I will write it out in the notes because I'm actually reducing it because it serves 12 people. So the first thing we're gonna do is make a vegan Parmesan, which I do as simply as possible. I just use organic whole cashews and stick them in a food processor. And if you wanna come on over here, I've made some. Now there's different ways to do vegan Parmesan. Some people add arrowroot and other thing. My body likes as minimal of extra <laughs> processed foods as possible. So I just use whole foods. So I'm just gonna add in a few more cashews here and blend it. And this will make your Parmesan. Now I did that first while the food processor is dry because we're gonna use it here for a couple more times and I want to do it while it's dry. Here's a little chunk, but that's okay. So then it won't be, I don't have to dry the food processor and start over, which I learned the hard way. And then I just keep it in a Tupperware and let me get more out of there and keep it in the fridge. So then you just have your go-to vegan Parmesan. Now it's fine that it's going to be mixed in with a few cashews few, excuse me, mushrooms and other things. So that's so easy, right? Now, if you like arrowroot and other things, you could add salt, garlic powder. You could do that also to make your Parmesan. But again, I just like to keep it simple because my body likes it better that way. Now we're going to actually put in the food processor, the mushrooms. You're going to laugh, but I actually am not a mushroom person, but I've had this recipe and it's amazing. And once it's all blended with the cauliflower and tomato paste and all the other seasonings, it's fantastic and it makes it thick. So this is a pound of mushrooms and you can use white or cremini mushrooms. And let's see how this goes because I'm gonna learn with you because, I, excuse me, gotta put your, put the hook back in. I have never cooked with mushrooms. So let's see how this goes. All right, start again. So we're gonna, let's see, we'll start. Just turning it on instead of pulsing. So this is gonna give it a meaty texture. I've seen this done with tofu also, which you know I'm a huge fan of, but I wanted to just stay true to the recipe. Let's see how it's looking. It's looking very meaty. <laughs> just a little bit more. Now you can reserve some whole mushrooms, slice them. You can start with that. If you really love mushrooms, you can slice them and saute them in garlic and onion, which I have on the stove. If you really love mushrooms, don't laugh, but I don't actually really want to see them. <laughs> I like them all blended up. Okay, so I have a fear of fungus for some weird reason, but everybody, my husband loves them. Everyone I know really loves mushrooms. So we're gonna set that aside and we're gonna add that in a little while. Okay, now, you could clean this all out, but why bother? Because it's all going in the same place is what I think. But some people do. So now we're gonna pull some cauliflower. So I just took a head of organic cauliflower and diced it into small pieces. And I even kept the, you know, the stem on. I didn't really make it that clean of a cut. But let's see, since I have so much, we're basically blending it down to cauliflower rice looking like shape here. Okay, let me dump some out. And I'm gonna save a couple, a couple of these chunks, didn't get it, but we're just gonna do this in shifts. I wasn't sure how much it could handle, but that part turned out good. So just do it in shifts. I'm gonna dump this into a bowl. Save the blade again. And now we'll do a second round. It might even take th 
three rounds. I got a very big head of cauliflower. So let's start a little smaller this time. Oops, excuse me. Get my blade. Okay. And this is one of our university recipes for colleges. And I just couldn't even believe how good it was the first time I tasted it. So that's why I wanted to share it. So we'll do one more. And I talk about this a lot, but don't be afraid of food processor recipes. I used to be, and, and now I regret it because it's so many things you can do with it. Remove the blade, scoop the bowl. So we're going heavy on the cauliflower, a little lighter on the mushrooms. So that, that can be up to you. Okay, one more. And we will utilize the full, full cauliflower. All right, and if you have a chunk, I just have a couple. I'll set them about over there. Okay. Now, I'm gonna transport this over here. So again, board food, this is, it's a wonderful program. We work with food service staffs and institutions, K through 12, universities and hospitals to help them get more plant-based options on their menu so people are having healthier choices in large institutions and saving lots of animals, right? So come on over here. I have already sauteed, yes, Oliver, my onion, one small onion that I diced up, and I did three cloves, excuse me, three to, I did six cloves of garlic. And I just use water. The recipe calls for oil, so that's always up to you, but I just use water. And I've already done that just to save time so you didn't have to sit and watch my onions caramelize, but they are very caramelized. And now we're gonna add some seasoning. So this is Italian seasoning from Simple Truth Organic, Kroger brand. It's actually my first time to use it. And we're gonna do a tablespoon. I'm reducing the recipe, so I'm gonna let you know how it turns out. And then nutritional yeast, which looks like yellow fish food, chocked full of B12 vitamins. Make sure you don't get brewer's yeast, which is white and for baking. All right, so this is a great way for vegans to get their B12 vitamins, because B12 is actually found in the soil. So animals only have it because they rummage in the soil and you know they root around for food, and so they get some of that dirt and get the B12 naturally. Otherwise, since we scrub our fruits and vegetables, we don't get it. So this is a great source of B12. And if you are 100% plant-based vegan, you want to take a B12 supplement daily, 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 daily. Okay, so we're gonna mix these together a little bit. Add a splash more water. So that Italian seasoning smells amazing. And then the nutritional yeast gives it that little cheesy flavor. And again, feel free to add more or less. Yes, says Oliver. <laughs> okay, so now we're gonna add in our cauliflower, which we've got a lot. Cauliflower and tomato paste. You know what, I wanna do the tomato paste first. So I use organic Kirkland tomato paste. <laughs> and we're gonna use one small can here. Okay. Yes. And then we're gonna add in, I'm gonna give it a splash of, this is the pasta water. I'm just gonna add a splash of that. Give us some liquid, a little more. We reserved some of the pasta water when we made the pasta. And then we're gonna add in all this rice. Now I may, in the future, use a bigger pot, but we're gonna try this. Okay, so we're gonna bring all this together. 
So obviously the cauliflower is chock full of fiber and it has protein in it also. Pro vegetables have protein. People don't think of that. They think it only comes from animal products. All plant-based foods have a little bit of protein, some more than others, of course, like the beans and nuts and seeds and tofus. Okay. Bring that together. We may even need more tomato paste. We'll get this going. Add a little bit more water. Okay. Bring all these flavors together. And then we're gonna add in two cups of vegetable broth. And I love this Trader Joe's organic vegetable broth. It does not have any added oil and it's got a nice flavor. So let's see, I'll start with a cup and a half. Okay. We may not need all two, but that'll help us mix it around. And then we get to add in are blended up mushrooms. So you can see how that's got that meaty texture. It's got a big chunk, a little bit that didn't get in that one. <laughs> You can keep these, it's up to you. I'm just, they're a little bit of stock, so I'm gonna pull them out. It didn't get fully blended. All right. So we're gonna let this simmer for about 15 minutes. I, I, I may actually add a little bit more tomato paste before I do that. And I'm gonna show you on the stove, we have our organic brown rice penne pasta from Trader Joe's. The recipe calls for rigatoni, which is the fatter noodles, but I couldn't find them in gluten-free. So we've had that sitting here waiting and we will combine these all together in a little bit. So I'm gonna let this simmer for 15 minutes and then I'll be back. Okay, we're back. So come look at the delicious bolognese. I did add one more can of tomato paste. Because I modified the recipe, it was like 12 servings. So I'll write it all out in the comments for you. And I did add some salt and pepper. So again, that's optional for you to help make it your own. But you can see how it takes on this meaty texture. To be honest with you, this is a really simple recipe. So let's go ahead and dish it up. Sometimes when you pre-cook your noodles, they're gonna, they stick together. So you might have to, you can add a tiny drizzle of oil or not. I don't mind my noodles being stuck together, <laughs> but everybody's different. All right, put it on a nice bed, gluten-free pasta or regular pasta. And here is our cauliflower mushroom bolognese. And you can modify if you like more or less Italian seasoning. I did add a teaspoon of salt. We do eat salt in our house. And so that's up to you again. And then you can sprinkle it with a little of the cashew parmesan. And voila, cauliflower mushroom bolognese. So again, that's from the Humane Society of the United States, our forward food program. So we do culinary trainings. We work with chefs, dietitian, and food service staff at K through 12 schools, colleges, and hospitals. So if you have an institution in your area that you'd like to do, uh, plant-based culinary training with us, please leave a comment below and I will get back to you. So thank you for joining me. And as always, thank you for saving animals with your food choices. Have a great week.